And there we go, we've got a banner with like, subscribe and share showing. So, so simple, like I said it was. This video is a continuation of the previous video that I did about how to create a navigation bar using HTML and CSS. What we essentially did was to copy uh, kind of the Facebook navigation bar that they have in 2020. If you haven't seen that video, then click the link in the description or there'll be a link shown right now. With that said, this video is going to basically then create the banner that's displayed uh, on the Facebook page. Uh, essentially just a huge image that's going to be there. It's going to go full screen and uh, the image is going to be then um, centered. You could advance it a little bit further, but this will teach you the basic concepts of how to create a centered huge uh, banner underneath your navigation bar on your website. So with that said, let's get started. Before we move looking into the code, let's just have a look at what we did previously. Okay, on the right hand side of my screen, you see this grey navigation bar with some uh, boxes on the left hand side, our red and yellow, and other boxes on the right hand side, and then boxes in the middle with our, our heading underneath with this is our web page. On the left we see my public Facebook profile and we can see that the navigation bar is the same height and so on. What we want to do is now place a banner, a box underneath our navigation bar and center our image as per what is there. Now the Facebook banner is basically about a thousand pixels in width and then it has then a color left and right. In our example we're going to make a background image and then we're going to make a background color as well and we're going to make it centered just because that's what I want to do. By the end of this video you will learn how to create a box using HTML and CSS Learn how to then add a background image for that one box. Learn how to center that one image and also tell the browser to not repeat that image because otherwise it will just keep repeating it on the X and on the Y. And then give it a background color to sit behind that one image. The image that I will be using in this video is an animated GIF. So you'd understand also how to use an animated GIF in your website. Now obviously don't forget to like, subscribe, share and tap that bell icon to get notified when I release any new videos. Without any further ado, let's start coding. Just to give you a quick overview of what I've done before in the last video, if you don't intend to go and watch it. But on the left hand side, let's just view what different files and folders we have. We have a CSS folder with a layout.css file in it. This is on the right hand side of the screen right now. We then have an images folder with a banner.gif in it and then a JS which has nothing in it right now, possibly for the future, just good practice to create a folder. I don't know. And then we have our index.html on the left hand side. As you can see we've just linked our layout.css and then we've created a navbar div container and then underneath it we've created a uh, h1 with this is our web page. Inside the nav we've got a left column, we've got the middle column and then we've got the right column and these are for the individual boxes and they contain then uh, the different logos with the, the selector of icon and then their different specific um, classes or selectors to tell them what colors they have and stuff like that. Uh, nothing too difficult. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at the animated GIF that we're going to be using. That's inside the images folder and it's called banner.gif GIF. And there, as per normal, says like, subscribe and share um, with a, a background color. It's not a gradient, it's just a normal background color. So let's uh, move over to then start coding our new banner in our website. So let's just get rid of this uh, banner GIF, we don't need that anymore. Oops. And uh, we'll go into HTML and then split the screen and then get the CSS again and we can close this. So I want to have the banner uh, currently beneath our navbar but above our main heading. And we're just going to make another div and call this then banner. It doesn't need any content for the time being because we're going to use it all with CSS. Let's scroll down to the bottom and create another class, whoops, Baba. And uh, we want to say backgrounds color and uh, I have to go to Keynote to get this. And it was here somewhere. There it is. If you didn't know how to make this animated GIF using Keynote, I'm no expert on Keynote, but it doesn't really require a masterclass to be able to do it. If you are interested in creating this animated GIF, then uh, 
write it in the comments below and uh, yeah and I'll maybe think about doing it if I get enough comments I see enough people wanting to see how it's done then I'll then I'll do the video but other than that then let's just keep going shall we let's okay let's paste that in and then next we want to do is we want to say background image and I'm going to purposely not do the background repeat to see what the problem is all right and here we have to say then URL and it's forward slash in images and it's our banner dot gif next thing we want to say is then background position is going to be center and uh, let's leave it at that for now oh we also want to have uh, width is equal to be 100% uh, view port width and we'll make the height I think it's 320 or something possibly so let's come back over to our new website and let's give it a refresh and then we can see we've got our banner we can get rid of this this Facebook page for the time being and there you can see now it's repeating on the uh, the X at the moment but if we now create the height to be say 720 and refresh it now you can see that it's repeating on the Y as well so we need to tell the browser to not repeat it at all and just place it one time in that one box easily done and we can say this let's move that back to 320 and this is then background repeat and there you can see all the different options very helpful by Visual Studio Code and we'll just say no repeats so let's control s to save go back over to the web page and do it again and we see happy days is in the center once again. Let's just move this up there, like that. It's a bit better. Now, just to be a little bit more uh, clear about this, let's comment out our background position center just to see where it goes. And as you can see, it flips on the right hand side. Now, let's say that you did want to have it on the uh, on an, another position apart from on the center. Let's have a look at, uh, we've just seen the left, but we'll have a look at right. And that goes to the right now. And then top shouldn't really make any difference because it's the size of the image and so on. You get, you understand um, where we're going with this. Okay, so that's basically our um, banner done now. We just know that the, the background color is the same as what I did the GIF with. Now I could have done the GIF with a, a transparent background, but I didn't, you know, so I've used the same background color. Um, but essentially you could do if you're just gonna have some text uh, like this. That essentially is creating a banner using HTML and CSS with your image. It's not really very difficult. I didn't say it was difficult. It's only a, a few lines of code that you actually need to write, um, but it, it makes your website look really nice. You want to have that visual effect when people come onto your landing page. So I hope you understood this. If there was anything you didn't understand or you do have any questions, then write them in the comments below. In the event that this video did help you, then smash that like button. And also subscribe if you haven't done already. And don't forget to tap the bell icon to get notified when I release any new videos. If you haven't checked out my channel already, then there'll be a link displayed up here right now. There I've got a whole bunch more other HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Xcode, server, uh, DNS, a whole bunch of other different types of videos that may interest you. Go and check it out. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Well, that's enough from me. Uh, like I said already, I hope that you got something out of it and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you in the next um, video. It's more than likely that I'm gonna create a continuation to this. I didn't really wanna create like a playlist of it in the beginning because I just wanted to create one video then if I have time to create a second and third and so on. But I'm pretty certain that because this video went relatively quickly that I'm probably gonna create a continuation to this and over time maybe we can build on it and see how it goes okay um thank you very much for watching my name's david thorne you've been watching david's videos don't forget to like subscribe share tap that bell icon so you get notified of when i'm releasing the new videos other than that 
Thanks very much for watching and click any one of the links that are displayed on your screen right now. That's it. Stay safe and goodbye.